Hey everybody, this is not a spring check. And yes, we always knew that guys were good for something. What? No. You know, and they're saying all things should be created equal. Well, it's not so when you're getting your car repaired. Because we have spent all morning trying to get the car fixed. Well, they, they did fix it. They had to refix the flat after I got brand new tires yesterday because, oh, something didn't get installed correctly. And well, now it's done correctly because this time, I brought a mail with me. And of course, they also don't want to have to have me come back. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to bring Old Kim on now for comments on the headlines of today. And yeah. UPS to test in store 3D printing at three lo six locations nationwide. Yeah. I know, we're doing Old Kim. Oh, that's right. Um, and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually, today it is all over officially for the Republicans. The Tea Party is going to pull its backing for most of the people they sent to office because they, they have this weird idea that they, Democrats won't love them if they keep doing what the Tea Party wants is to stop spending. Oh my or to get, they, 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 the Tea Party and the Independents want you to stop spending. They want a penalty to be paid for by the people that are here illegally. But that's not what the leadership of the Republican Party or virtually any of the people they elected. I mean, they said there's no way on earth that, um, that you know, that Rubio is going to get re-elected re in, in, in uh, Florida because he has no financing now. They said that over 60% of the money that the Dem Republican Party has been running on for the last four years has came from Tea Party investments. Mm -hmm. And they are not going to have that. They said they're going to use their money to only finance people now that basically have the same values as they do, not the values of the Democratic Party. And Obama is now fighting for his political life with his phony scandals that grow with every day and the mainstream press refuses to admit anything ever happened. Oh yeah, they will. And the latest one is the DEA has now been doing the same thing as the NSA. The only difference is the DEA, because of who they are, is smart enough to, to destroy the evidence. I know, but, but the, now we all know that they're They all evidence. know the evidence is being destroyed, so they're sitting there watching the truck pull out with the track. Well, what it is is because the federal government made, the Democrats made rules that said you can't have incinerators in those buildings now. So now the stuff that you would normally have burnt in the furnaces down below has to be hauled out in trucks. And when you're hauling truck after truck after truck out of equipment. They know truck, that. They know they're, they're shredding. They, uh, they think they had one million phones, uh, they had one million phones that had been tapped and basically ever since Obama became president they've been listening in on phone calls, been reading emails, everything you could think of. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Bill O'Reilly says, well it's, it's, it's all right to do that with emails because that's public. But telephone calls are, they shouldn't be doing it with telephone calls. And I don't think that they were doing, well yeah they found out last week everybody was doing it with a telephone call. That if, okay, that Monty is a puppy dog Monty would have had authority from the NSA to go listen to anything she wanted to hear. If she wanted to hear, oh, you mean that, that woman's stud is doing this? Oh. Rrr, 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 rrr. They, could listen, uh, they could listen to any phone call they had, they wanted to. It's how the guy Snowden got everything. He didn't, he, the clearance was anyone had the authority to do it. Anyone. Because they were mining information. And and they, if you sit there and you, you, know, you, you pick people out that you think might be like a Bill O'Reilly. You know, you well, oh, you know they've been monitoring Bill O'Reilly. Yeah, if you didn't like somebody, you monitored her and you just didn't need a court order, you just did it. What? We know we were being monitored. That's right. <laughs> Paul Ryan and Obamacare. Can he stop Ted Cruz's government shutdown? Well, the Republicans, are, the Republican leadership is not going to go, the Republican leadership is going to vote with the Democrats. You believe that? They're going to give the Democrats enough votes to pass Obama's budget with Obamacare in it. They, they, here's the trick is, I found out yesterday from a Democrat, this is a good one. Why do you think the Republicans have done nothing on the IRS? Why do you think the Republicans have done nothing on Fast and Furious? Why do you think the Republicans have done nothing on Benghazi? It's all got to go to one minor little thing. The Republican leadership knows they, they were in on the fact that, uh, that the President of the United States had been using Benghazi as a point to ship weapons illegally to the, to the Syrians. Mm. And therefore, since it was a violation of the law, 
guess who goes to jail if it all gets the whistle gets blown? Uh -huh. And guess what happened now? The whistle has been blown, and basically these people, Obama and the, re the leadership of the Republican and Democratic Party, are now fighting to keep all of this stuff from making the ma the mainstream press when it smells blood in the water. They will sink Obama. Mm -hmm. They're already going after Hillary Clinton, which is a good one. See, uh, the GOP this morning has said that there will be no debates carried by NBC or CNN as a result of the uh, of the the pre-campaign coverage they have given to Hillary Clinton. What? Yep. They both because... have, they both have done love story things about Hillary Clinton now, and they said there will be so if they have decided to pick a winner in the next election, there will be no debates allowed on either of those two networks, <laughs> and no one connected with either network will be allowed to uh, attend to report on the events or moderate. Oh, that was a big blow. Well, the other night they did a whole special. Yeah, um, if they would have done that for Obama. Guess what? None yeah. of the debates well, would have they happened. Said that Obama has the first time ever a setting president has anointed someone to replace him because he knows Hillary can blow the whistle on him. Oh my God. Because Hillary can blow the whistle on him and she can blow the whistle on all of the Democrats underneath her that were involved in the shipping of weapons illegally. They were, you know, they were doing what they should have been doing but doing it hiding what they were doing which is always get you in trouble. And they said that this president has done, and he's done this one impeachable offense after another after another, and now anointing somebody to replace him, because he, he had no intention of going first, but since now, he knows that sooner or later, they're going to come after him, and he's going to lose his job, and he's going to go. He'll be the first. It is more than likely if Obama doesn't leave the country, he will be the first president to ever go to jail. Oh, boy. And the average cost of a wedding... The average cost of attending a wedding is five hundred and thirty-nine dollars, up sixty percent from twenty twelve. That's, That's to attend a wedding. Let's see, when I got married, the let's see, it was uh, I'm trying to figure out what it was, something like about a thousand dollars a couple. It cost me to have to come to my wedding. I paid for the rooms. I paid for the transportation. I paid for the clothes that they all wore, mm -hmm. and that was, you know, I, so it, it was it was a very expensive thing. And that was um, was it was it thirty seven years ago. Yours was an expensive wedding. Well, yeah, way expensive. Yeah, we had Frank Sinatra almost perform at mine. He did. He did start to sing a song. Oh, and Paul Ryan and Obamacare. Can you stop Ted Cruz's government shutdown? Well, she liked that when she ran twice. Oh. <laughs> Senator Mitch McConnell fighting for his political life. Well, he has no, um, the, the Tea Party is putting up somebody that they know has the same values as they do, and they have pulled all the funding from McConnell. They said McConnell has done nothing. I mean, it's got to be embarrassing as heck. You lead, the, you, you lead the program to get the Republicans to give up the right to filibuster candidates that the president has put up for, uh, for re, re, resubmitted to be put up for jobs, then in the very next day, the courts rule against the president on those people, and they had lost their jobs. The Republican, without putting up a fight, gave the president every single nominee that he wanted. They have not stopped, not even said a word of anything against it, except the ten people that the Tea Party actually... There's nine, there are nine Republicans and one independent that are standing up against Obama on his nominations. Really? And the health care fix spares insurance hype for Congress. Isn't that amazing? Congress basically, including, including Mitch McConnell and Baynard now, have basically agreed that, well, we don't want to be on the plan that other people. They said it's very difficult for these people that uh, basically just gave themselves a, a pass on Obamacare to fight Obamacare now. Mm. Oh, that's true, huh? Yeah. The NSA couldn't answer our FOIA request because it couldn't figure out our address. That is what? how incompetent they are. That was a Freedom of Information Act request. They couldn't figure out where the people were, which is the same thing. These are the same people that knew are, that the guys in Boston were doing something, but they didn't know exactly where they were. So why are they... <laughs> no, it's, it's the, you know, and they're... Uh, 
basically the you know, big data, big brother. Just watching the news, they're talking more about they're talking about the DEA now being involved with Obama's. This guy basically is he is so he is unbelievably paranoid. I mean, uh, you know, all, it, just all these companies that are involved in it now. That basically the insurance companies are assisting the president of the United States in supplying automobile information now to him and health information well, and sure, home information. I'm sure the auto auto companies are going to be there next. Well, right? they've already got it. It's in the cars, all those oh, electronic right. things. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, this is a good one. That uh, this one goes back to Ronald Reagan. When you when you when somebody tells you that they worked on your car properly, trust but verify.